Samsung Galaxy. And of course, there's that Cassiopeia ban against Easy, and I think it's pretty smart to get that one out of the way. Yeah, just a no-brainer. He will pick that into you. Nidalee taken out against Eve. Of yeah. course, Zerith also removed against Easy Hoon. Very rare for Easy Hoon to absorb two bans. A big ban phase. He must not be too scared of Marin here. So I would imagine, do you think they're gonna ban the Rex as well against Eve later? Do you think that's gonna be the third ban for SKT? Could see that, could see Sejuani, of course, with some more of these viable sure. tank junglers. Uh, Rek'Sai's importance has fallen down just a little bit, and there, of course, is the Callista ban. I suppose Fury not wanting to first pick it, and Urgot oh, will okay. be removed. So will it be Sejuani? Probably. Uh, will it be Rek'Sai? Or Maokai, too. Will it be Rumble, of course. Huh. Marin in this game, we usually see those Rumbles versus him. And actually, Kube has had a surprising number of Rumble bans against him, even though he, when he started off this season, his Rumble ultimates were really not particularly inspiring. Yeah. There's something about his solo queue Rumble play that really has his opponents spooked. It is bizarre, because like you said, we've seen so many bans, we've seen so many picks, but it just hasn't worked out for him very well yet. Will he finally be able to turn it around? You gotta wonder if that's maybe nerves, huh? It, it is worth noting that we haven't seen his Rumble in a really, really long time at this point, months. Uh, because it has been banned out pretty much every game against Samsung. So obviously the pro players are concerned about his abilities on that champion. So it's time to see how much he has evolved uh, on well, that pick. With that Lulu pick up for SKT, I wonder if we're going to see maybe a bit of a uh, Juggerma strategy come out. We could very well. We'll see. Still going to be strong, and they may just take the Kogma away in response yeah. to seeing the Lulu. And indeed, they will take the Vladimir also. Okay, well, Bang's certainly no uh, stranger to playing Ezreal. And honestly, there's a lot of choices for carry right now. Sivir could be fine. Yeah, Graves works as well. I would take Jinx, but the hover over Twitch. Of course, OQ playing that earlier this week to yeah, did less too than well. great effect. I think Ezreal's a, a good safe pick, and it's a bit of a flex pick as well, too. Easy who not really known as an Ezreal player, but you have the option at least, I suppose. Yeah, what I don't about think... Lucian, though? Lucian, a good answer to this Kog'Maw in lane. You don't want to take too much lane bullying. Ooh. And they may snap up the cannon, the cannon already. Now, whether this is going support or top lane, we don't know. If it's, Lu mid, if it's Lulu, this is probably Easy Hoon playing it. Could always head to support. But a big a big flex pick here. Yeah. They can run Lulu support or mid or top. They can run Kennen support or mid or top. So they haven't given up very much information. They can play Sejuani, jungle, or support. <laughs> no, that's Samsung. Samsung <laughs> can play Sejuani support. We know that. I will play Sejuani support. Not with me, you won't. Well, we wouldn't lane together anyway. <laughs> so okay. what are the last two picks for Samsung going to be? That's an interesting choice. They're still looking for a jungle. Still looking for support of their own. Wow, that's a very aggressive jungler in the current meta, especially with Rek'Sai available. Yeah. And just the Morgana in the support role. This is because they're worried about Kennen's support right now and trying to block some of those stuns. Also, it will, if they pick Thresh, it will work against that as well. This is actually a very smart support pickup, I feel, against what SKT is throwing at them. Lee Sin adding some early playmaking capability, and they could take Top lane Rek'Sai, that is a thing, and it will be a Gnar lock-in, actually. Okay. So it looks like we will see Top Gnar, mid Lulu, and the Kennen support is here, Doa. Nice, I'm glad we're getting to see this. I mean, like, like we were talking about, we saw it so much on Wolf's solo queue account. We know they've been playing it a lot, you know, having the conversations with uh, some of the players here. It's kind of making waves in the Korean scene, but will it be able to win here at the pro level? Especially against these a long-range harass champion yeah. like Kog'Maw, and the Morgana pick, very good against it in the laning phase. You can protect your carry from that stun, and yeah, uh, SKT like playing an elusive composition. They've got good, they've got a great setup for engage. Of course, it'll require Tom to hit those ults, and one thing, even though Bengi did play well against Janair, he did miss some of those glacial prisons. He did miss them. Yeah. And so Tom's accuracy on the skill shot will be pretty dependent because SKT needs to engage with Gnarlt and Kennedal off of that first initial skill shot in order to be successful in these team fights. I 
I just got to go back to the cannon again. I'm just really wondering, are they going to be able to get in with him, you know? Oh. Because you kind of... If you land Sejuani ult, yes. The answer is yes. That's true, but if you don't, you might have a bit of a hard time, unless exactly. you've got Flash. That's why That's why their, their ult is really dependent on Sejuani ult. Yeah. Tom has to land those skill shots, and I think he has to do it a bit better than Bengi did in their last match. Samsung, on the other hand, lots of damage over time. We'll see if they can pull it off. That's right. Well, Samsung for SK Telecom. Time to get the game. Welcome to Summoner's Rift, Samsung Galaxy versus SK Telecom, a match that could lock in second place for SKT if they can win it today. And a lot of people, myself included, think that's a pretty likely scenario, but this is Champions Korea, man. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, Wolf, 51 AD, 21 AP to start out with, so... The amount of mixed damage right there. And for those wondering, Wolf builds Righteous Glory on Kennen. So it is about speeding up his team, getting that engage. Well, you're and gonna... yeah, of course, with Kennen's E, you get very tanky as well, getting 50 armor and MR at max rank. So you can, you can really absorb a lot of blows if you have that HP from the Righteous Glory. Yeah, you're going to be building it like Annie since you have a lot of, a lot of similarities between these two champions in terms of their team fight utility. I think SKT really did want the Kog'Ma here, but it got snatched away by Samsung, and who can blame them? Yep. Samsung doesn't have the strongest front line, though. They're very item dependent. Kuve and Wraith really need those Zonya's Hourglasses. Well, that's the thing, Samsung just looks so fragile to me right now. Well, once they get three Zonya's, they'll be okay. <laughs> but obviously, yeah. that's it's gonna be a while, and that will change a lot about their team fighting, and that's the point where they're really going to start to take over. Uh, Fury will have the peel that he needs in order to make this work. Well, Obviously, Ken and Kog'Maw would be an extremely annoying lane as well. Well, this is a bit of a surprise. Yeah, they're trying to go in on the easy one here. Looks like we have a swap into the mid lane from Fury and Wraith. Very interesting. So a yeah. bit of a fast push actually coming in. We haven't huh. seen this in years, actually. Yeah, it's been quite a long time. I'm trying to remember the last time we really saw uh, a duo mid. It's probably like a Caitlyn Nami lane. Maybe, maybe not years, maybe like eight months, probably trying Before to think Worlds back. Before Worlds last year. Yeah, it was, I think in spring last year was the last time we really saw this in earnest. So already some harassment going in. And of course, this does allow you to stall out those tanks a little bit because your support can go roaming. Hard CC on Morgana too could be useful. But you know, honestly, against the Lulu, I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to deny that much. And Vlad really isn't good at wave clearing in the early ranks. He has to max his Q in order to stay unpoked in the laning phase, so he may lose quite a bit of CS on the turret. He's still at zero, actually. Yeah, he hasn't gotten a single thing yet, and just look at Wolf harassing him. Uh, yeah, I thought this Morgana was definitely to deal with the Kennen harass, but this is a really strong poke lane that they sent Bliss into. They may have sold him up, up the river a little bit here. I feel like if you're going to switch Fury into mid lane, you'd still want to send Wraith to bot, right? Otherwise, this happens. Well, but the thing is, Vlad is very level dependent. You fall behind on Vlad. Uh, you need to get levels That's so true. that you have that max rank Q, and then if he falls behind, he can't wave clear either. So it's a bit of a conundrum, actually. So Samsung has to convert this. They need to, an ideal situation for Samsung, fast push the mid turret, get the mid turret down, and then uh, freeze the wave at tier two and mid so Bliss can actually farm and catch right back up. Yeah, well, Bliss, is, Bliss might need a lot of time to do that. Still only four CS right now. This also is good against Sejuani, though, uh, because you you know she's probably not going to be ganking in the early game, and Lee Sin an aggressive pick, so maybe you can make a play onto one of these side lanes. Yeah, we'll see. For now, he's just walking right up mid. Hmm. Yeah, we just haven't seen too much Lee Sin since the debut of 5.5 .5 here. Wolf still harassing. Yeah, you're just not going to do a lot of damage with Lee Sin right now with all the tanks in the meta, and unless you can get some pretty perfect kicks, it's going to be hard for him to make a difference in team fights. Yeah, you really have to snowball, yeah. and uh, there aren't a lot of good options to kick in from SKT either. Who are you going to kick in? No, you don't want to kick in anybody. <laughs> That's actually true, yeah. I mean, Ezreal, if, if you, he's the best target, but he can just get out immediately. You're not going to be able to kick Ezreal more yeah. than likely, so... 
So, Samsung, I feel like their their composition just seems kind of confused, you know? They seem like oh. they're trying to do a couple different things. Well, they're going to try to gank the bot lane. I think it can be very successful in the late game, but like I said, it's about that Zonia's usage, and they have to get... They have to get three Zonias onto Morgana, Vladimir, and Rumble. That way they have the front line. Fury will be outputting an immense amount of damage against all the tanks from SKT on Kog'Maw, so it's an interesting it's an interesting conundrum to be sure. Fury is going to get a lot of farm. He's going to get a lot of levels early on to max his Bioarcane Barrage if he wants to. So he'll have that percent HP, extra percent HP damage in the mid game. Could be, it could be interesting. Uh, it's hard to tell how exactly this is going to play out, yeah. given the, the strangeness of this comp and the strangeness of this game. Wraith is waiting there for Easy Hoon. We've had a lot of the, this time, this kind of thing lately, haven't we? They're going to go in onto Easy Hoon. He's going to whimsy himself right away for that speed boost. Flash, binding, flash out of. So, summoner for summoner, but that does make Easy Hoon a bit more vulnerable in the mid lane. Yeah, especially with the possibility of three people coming in there, he is going to have to be. Very careful. Yeah. Well, if he wouldn't have had that flash, he'd have been in pretty big trouble. Vlad has to walk back into the side lane now, just an amp tome at the moment. So Easy Hoon definitely doing better in that regard. Eve and Wraith. Getting a little bit of counter jungling right here. They just need to slow down the Sejuani as much as possible. So I like what they're doing. Eve going for the Chilling Smite as well. So is Tom, actually. But really good deep wards in from Samsung on both sides of the jungle early on. Now, the Chilling Smite for Eve makes a little bit more sense, I would think, if they want to be aggressive early with him. But on Sejuani, that's a bit more surprising. Oh, SKT with the early dragon here, too. Good vision. Well, really nice vision. Yeah. This is a great call. Yeah, are they going to be able to get it? It looks so, like they are. Yeah, recall timing coming in for Kog'Maw. They know they have control over the bottom side of the map, thanks to the solo lane in bottom. So they will go ahead and take very easy first dragon of this game. Uh, not bad. Okay. So a little bit of a lead already off the bat from SK Telecom. And Tom actually has a level lead too, in spite of the counter jungling attempts from Eve. Uh, Eve's been using a lot of time getting those wards in. So he has fallen a bit further behind. Tom just been straight up jungling, no real gank attempts yet. Yep. Just trying to see us as best he can. There's Wolf as well, too. And obviously, it's going to be pretty hard to gank a Vladimir. They're going to try it. Maybe they can get a summoner. Nope. Well, Let's still with that ghost flash up. Yeah, it, it is when his, when his flash is up. But because Kennen's E, he'll be able to match speed with Vlad. So he can actually really harass Vlad and save his ult until he bad, Vlad pops back up out of pool. And he can stay even with Vlad. That is true. He, with his Vlad electrical surge. So yeah, Vlad doesn't have any way to really slow him down. Right. As long as you don't stand on top of the pool, uh, you should be OK. So I would, I would be a little bit afraid if I was Bliss going into this lane. And Bang is actually building Blade first. That is not an Ezreal build you see every day, but well, we used to see it once in a while. But it's been a long time since we've seen the Blade first. It's just not great. Yeah, what do you think he's worried about, you know? Oh, Tom coming in. Can he get his red buff here? Samsung trying to steal it. I don't really know. You, you don't need it for kiting. Samsung doing a good job of just harassing the buffs and harassing the jungle. That's one of the advantages you have from your dual lane in mid. Yep. Oh, they're going to go in on Tom a little bit. Tom turning. Teleport. Oh, thought about coming in for a second. I thought I saw it. I guess I was wrong. Meanwhile, red buff still being contested. Yeah, they really can't stop this. Oh, Tom's still going to try. This is so bold, actually. Yeah, three people for Samsung there. Wow, Tom resets again. They took so much damage. Man, well, you know, the buffs do reset quicker than they used to before. It was That was a, a patch or two ago where right. it changed from 10 down to 5 as far as attack center resets after. Ooh. Wow, that was an attempted dive, perhaps, from SKT. Wow, yeah. a lot of damage on the Bliss. Just harassing as much as possible. He I can't so. sustain through this. He doesn't have his revolver yet. He doesn't have... Level 6 from Wolf. He's only four levels into his Q. So, oh, here we go, action up in the top lane. Kube gets taken down. Marin 
barely makes it out due to a knockup from Tom. Yeah, Close call there, but Tom saves the day. Not even having his Meganar form, it was used while they were harassing his red. I'm surprised that Samsung really gave it that up. They had three people. Easy Hoon was sl very slowly pushing out that wave. And uh, Kuve had pressure on the top side. I feel like they could have done that. And there is uh, Wolf killing wow. even the jungle by himself. So bloodthirsty. I like it. I'm going to have to give this uh, support cannon thing a try. Can do a lot of damage, of course. He had hit Certainly six can. and he had ignite. So. To check out the replay on that one. Let's see it. Oh my. Oh, Eve. Easy. Well, that was an art. <laughs> well. Good instincts, though. Yeah. Good instincts. We're seeing a lot more uh, supports like we saw, you know, Nautilus the other day. Now we're seeing Wolf's Cannon. We're seeing a lot more supports kind of get into the enemy jungle and be more in your face. Especially if it's not a tanky jungle. You know, I think that's the key is that. It seems like, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it kind of seems like if you're not playing a tanky jungle right now, because everyone else is so durable, it makes it much easier to harass. Yeah, you have to wait until you get the Bami Cinder or the Cinder Hulk, though, for the tankiness of those junglers to really kick in. Uh, because before you get those items, they still don't have the greatest jungle clear, so they can get a bit lower, uh, especially if they don't go. Oh, boy. Bliss could be in trouble here. Yep, it's a three-man. Gank onto him. There's a chilling smite. He's going to pull right away. Tom waiting for that ult. Thinking about throwing it in. Actually, didn't have it ult up yet. Nope. Thought he was being patient. He just didn't have a choice. Meanwhile, Kube, really low. Marin going for the 1v1. Oh, the minions block the ability, and Kube gets away. So, yeah, in, in regards to these tanky junglers, though, before you get in and before you get items, uh, they still oh, have a little done. bit more risk, unless you go Rangers, so you get that HP back, HP and mana back. But without Rangers, it does make it a little bit riskier for the junglers. Eve here just to chase Marin off after that attempt at the 1v1. He's even been doing a really good job holding his own, and look at that CS difference. Yeah. Vlad is not very well suited for a 1v2, Lulu. Much better wave clear early. Oh, Bliss might be in big trouble here. There's the pool again. Wolf waiting, pops the ultimate. There's the stun, and that's another easy kill. For SK Telecom, courtesy of Kennen. Bang gets the killing blow there. This Kennen is so brutal against this Vladimir. No kidding. I'm really surprised they didn't just put Cogmorg in that bottom lane instead, but Vlad just can't yeah. do anything. Now putting Vlad in that bot lane really kind of destroyed him, didn't it? And bang going cutlass tier hound blade. That is a wacky build right there. But he does have the slow on to Vladimir, and without any movement abilities and with summoners down, that does hurt Vladimir quite a lot. I suppose in dueling situations too, it help against the Kogma as well. No chance to get out, you need that lifesteal. You'll get well eventually. Yeah, blade, probably perhaps. Trinity Force is better against Cog though, because you can poke yeah. him harder with your Q, but Well. Great. Oh, oh man. Alright, Marin. Here we go. Eve coming in, the flash for Marin trying to get away. He's almost Meganar. Gets Bye. kicked back. Really, really low. Oh, There's wow. Meganar. Will he actually live the stun on Kube? Kube taking tower hits. And oh, nearly gets the 1v1, but Kube barely lives through it. Wow, and I think oh. if Marin had ulted a little bit better right there, that could have been a turnaround for him. But at the same time, he's not going to care. He sees three no. people topside. That means free dragon. Yeah, he'll happily kind of trade his life matter. He also has TP up still, so he's not going to miss too much of the mini wave. True shot barrage at the top side. Ooh. Try and save the tower, and that's what they're going to do. Yeah. Save the turret. Marin will be up at five, and then he can just. TP right back up there with Not a few bad. more resists. Well, the uh, the lead in mid lane is still pretty ridiculous. Bliss forced to just go after the Krugs right now. Ugh. Easy Hoon opting for the Athenes this game. And Bliss, man, that CS lead is just ridiculous. Yeah. Samsung neither fast pushed the tower. What they did was they tried to roam Wraith to get control of the jungle, but they have not capitalized on this mid lane duo, and oh, here we here go. Oh, comes Wolf trying Goodbye. to get in there. Oh, oh there's the flash, Goodbye. catches Fury. He'll get it nice and bloodthirsty. Oh man, I'm getting excited, man. This support <laughs> cannon can get some kills with this. Well deserved.
got the highest KD on the team right now. Meanwhile, Gouve just getting beat up in the top lane. That's going to be an easy one for SK Telecom. Flash used, but hey, you got the kill. Don't need to worry about a dragon right now, might as well. Bang's gonna absorb some turret hits right there, trying to harass Bliss. And Bliss is gonna absorb some of Bang, because that's what Vladimir does. <laughs> uh, absorbing going on. Oh, Hemoplague popped, but Wolf is right there. And he's just so scary that Bliss doesn't want to follow up. I mean, Vlad, Vlad Rumble is a scary combo. You can amp that damage coming in from Equalizer and from Ken, or from Kogma rather, so I it's not that Samsung's comp is terrible on paper, but man, their power spikes have been delayed. We're not getting a Bliss is not getting that Zonia's anytime soon. Neither is Wraith. I hasn't even completed Woda 15 minutes into this game, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a disaster. Tom is Oh boy, waiting for an opportunity. He doesn't have an ult right now. There we go. There's an ult from Marin, though. Marin had one. Stuns across the board. Equalizer uh, comes down, but there is nothing equal about what's going on in this game at all. That was dirty. Oh boy. That was a that was a dirty a dirty pick coming you know, in from Tom. Tom's been playing this game really well so far. Here's the thing: is that SKT is so far ahead. They might as well do a good job of snowballing it, finishing it off. They remember the pressure on SKT, the true pressure on SKT in this game is can they end this match as fast as GE ended against Najin? Can they do it in two 25 minute games? Yeah, and Najin also a bit of a harder opponent, however. Yeah. Generally speaking, even if they weren't spectacular in the matches earlier this week, trying to take over control of the red buff right now, Tom going to be recalling. Tom has been very good about controlling the dragon this game and uh, had quite a few successful ganks, turning well, <laughs> turning things around for Marin. Marin going, oh my, he's going for an early <laughs> maw. Okay. Why not? Well, controlling is real. Sounds good to me. Marin just wants to split push all day against you this know, rumble and continue to kill Kuve. It's going to make him pretty bad in team fights, though. Yeah. You know, we saw Tom's first game on Udyr. It was fun, it was gimmicky, he won great. But then he played that Jarvan game, and he looked like this. He looked like he had very good decision making, very good presence. And so for a guy just coming out of solo queue for a really young player as well, too, as we see this red buff reset, whoops. Tom looks <laughs> really good. Aha, uh -huh, the red buff belongs to Lulu. Yes, he does as look good. It should. But he hasn't had the strongest opponents either. So well, still, yeah, with all judgment on Tom, but you can. He individually has been playing well. Okay, goodbye, Kuve. Oh, seriously? Marin wow. has Maw. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> I wonder if Kuve just now noticed that. Because you don't expect the, the uh, Nar to have Maw at 17 minutes or really any time in most games. Yeah, or at least not before the six item build, right? Yeah, usually it's just Hex Drinker into something tanky. Marin, of course, he loves those split push damage items. That's pretty much him in a nutshell. And he gets to. 1v1 people all day well, in this game and take their jungle at the same time. You know, this game is looking pretty reminiscent of what we saw in G versus Najin. It's 17 minutes in. We've got a 7,000 gold lead for one of the teams. And Samsung's composition is so item dependent that yep. there is, they just don't have any tankiness now, so they will get utterly blasted. Well, it looks like Kuve wants to get his Zonias, but he's still a, wise, a ways off from picking that up. Yeah. I'm sure he wants one really oh, badly wait. right now, Toa. I'm pretty sure you're right. <laughs> hey, I can, some uh, good analysis there, you know. I was right. I can predict what the players want. Oh, so Bang switching it up, getting a dagger, and then building into Ma Mana. Mana Mune. So, yeah, very curious item build for Bang this game. but He can build whatever he wants, really. He really point, can though. in this yeah. lane. It doesn't matter. I mean... It's so one-sided that he could probably just build. Uh-oh, here know, we go. I would say uh, you want to go for probably a Hex Drinker and uh, probably some Nash's Tooth action there. Nash's Tooth as real. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Good stuff. Recurve bow. Wits, just, en wits just End that. as real. Yeah, you can go up to Wits End. You know, it's really. Hey, speaking of Wits End, that's what Marin's going for right now. <laughs> He actually is. <laughs> oh god. He's gonna build with Zen. He he is. Yeah. Wow, I was I was, just, I was joking. I was mentioning <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I mentioned the item Wits End as a joke, but apparently it's actually gonna happen in this game. Speaking of Wits End, something that people may not know, Trace has been playing a lot of top lane Nautilus and building Wits End, which is actually kind of it's good, good on, on Nautilus. Nautilus. Yeah, yeah. The more stuns the merrier, right? 
I believe that, I believe that's how the expression goes. Yes. More the, stunts. The barrier. barrier. Yeah. I know when I'm at a party, what I really like is just being immobilized for a few seconds. That's what my grandmother always said. <laughs> the more stunts, the merrier. She played a lot of top lane Nautilus back in the 1940s or so. Also, probably a, a lot of rugby or yeah. offensive line and football. True. Yep. That's your, exactly your grandma right. was a badass, though. She was awesome. Dude. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> See, they looked at Nautilus' uh, skin back then, and they were like, "Wow, look at that new state-of-the-art diving costume." <laughs> Maybe about 100 years too late for that. Okay. Oh, are we just going to see Bliss die here? Yep. No, oh. no we're not. Bad he, analysis. He had, he had to use Ghost to get away. Bang was actually interested in killing the turret instead he of people. He used a Ghost so he would not become one. <laughs> That's right. Counterintuitive, you know. Right. You want to become one temporarily so you don't become one permanently. Yes, that's true. It sounds good to me. Not a friendly ghost, though. You know, Wraith used to be a friendly ghost. He used, Casper. To, be, he used to be Casper, but now he's Wraith. Yeah. The, uh, his, the cruelty at the hands of SK Telecom has turned him. That's right. He's like, why'd you get Pickaboo? I was here all along. The, the uh, brutal whips of Taskmaster Mondu. <laughs> Well, yep. Tom, you better get Aegis against this double AP composition. Well, he did. He's got Aegis. Oh, I mean a uh, banner. Also because oh, okay. Kog'Maw will have a really hard time clearing out the minions with Bio Arcane Barrage with banner also. So that legitimately, is it is a very good item in this situation. Yeah, you get a huge <laughs> minion that's immune to magic. That is annoying for Kog'Maw. There's all sorts it's of time, fun stuff they can do. It's time for Baron Banner, I believe, Tom. Do it. I think we need Zerath's portal. Hey, look, Luden's Echo on uh, yeah, that's, Lulu. I don't think that's very good here. Pretty Dude, are sure you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Glitter Lance into a Luden's Echo proc? You're telling me that's not good? Look at how good that was just now. It almost killed all those minions. Death Cap is better. Yeah, but Luden's has the style points. It definitely, well, you know, this game has become all about the style points, Doa. It has. I'm like. Mar and styling so hard right now. I've been playing a lot of Earth mode, and I'm seeing a lot of the same items I've uh, I've seen in Earth mode recently. Yep. Okay, now, Tom, it's time to buy Banner of Command. You will be my hero. Does he want to be your hero? Do you want him to be uh, your well, hero? Well, I've been holding out for a hero, though. Here we go, over the wall. Nice, all by Tom, and here comes Wolf. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, man. Double kill for easy, and because Luden's Echo is awesome. That's the only reason. And back on to Baron again. And Q on to Bang. He's just going to flash at He's like, Arcade Jim. He's like, Lee Sin, I'm going to save you the trouble. I'm coming to you, man. <laughs> Wolf nearly died to Baron right there, too. Eva's very low. Easy Hood. Oh, Luden's Echo again. See? No, it's a glitter you. lance. Nope, it was a proc from Luden's Echo that killed Eve. We will see in the replay. <laughs> you will see the true power of Luden's Echo. All right, I will. I don't actually know if Luden's Echo works off of the distance glitter lance like that. If it does, I may give you that Luden's Echo is good because if you can hit yeah. Luden's Echo at the like max end range of glitter lance, if you have health picks on somebody, I actually don't know I, if it works like that. I just saw it. Eve right. died to the proc. We from will Luden's find Echo. out. It's hard to miss. It's like a little bouncy purple thing. Yeah. Yeah. SKT is myth-busting Lulu's abilities with Luden's Echo for us. Let's find out. Let's, let's test this. Let's see a replay. Come on. Anyone listening? No. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> replay, please. I'll go tap a uh, green castle. No! Also. He got oh. he got Aegis. And then into Locket. Why? It's boring. All right. We'll watch for more Luden's Echo procs, though. There we go. See, it proc off the uh, first hit it looked like that time. Oh, That's a oh, lot of damage. Oh. Here we go. He's going. Oh, oh. No, he no. used his glory. His poor, righteous glory. Poor Wolf didn't have flash up to actually engage that. No, nope. he just kind of righteous gloried into a wall. Oh, well. So, um, 1 to 11 in kills. That's uh, about 11,000. They succeeded in getting one Zonia so far. They will also succeed in living longer than Najin did against GE. We're already Maybe. at about 24 minutes. Maybe. Don't, dis don't discount the surprise victory right here. They'd have to go through a tier two and everything else and win in a minute now. Are you a doubter? I'm a doubter. But are we counting? It should be average game time, so they'll just have to win in 20 minutes in the next game. That's true. They'd have to get the 20 minute surrender. All right. Another Baron attempt. But wait, they have to kill the Rift Scholar first. Rift Coward must pay. 
by. All right, well, SKT kind of playing around now. Easy is going to go for which Bane next. I'm disappointed in Amaran, though. He has not finished his uh, wit's end yet. Yeah, that is sad. Yeah. He just wanted a little bit of extra attack speed, you know, because attack speed NAR is really <laughs> the sickest <laughs> Where thing. Where it's at. <laughs> it's all about right. how fast you can throw boomerangs at people. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, that's about it. A blue buff was taken by Eve. So. Speaking of which, when you increase NAR's attack speed, I want to know how that affects the speed at which the boomerang returns to you, because that makes no sense. Does it? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, he throws... Oh, I guess he does it. Not doesn't. with his auto. He just throws a little... He just throws his thing. I suppose his auto doesn't return to him. No. That's sad. Well, it magically does, like Thor's hammer, but <laughs> but the boomerang comes back like a normal boomerang. The, well, the Stone Age Mjolnir. That's right. Only NAR can pick it up. <laughs> that's why you don't see anybody else using it. Iron Man tried once, couldn't do it. Captain America, on the other hand. Hmm. Well, I want to see Wolf build some AP. He needs a Luden's Echo, too. <laughs> I'd rather see him have a Zonia's, personally, but. Dude, are you kidding me? Luden's Echo gives you move speed. Why wouldn't you build an Eye Cannon? <laughs> Perfect fit. All right, well, it's going to be Dragon number four for SKT, I guess. Yeah, SKT, just happy to grind this one out. Yeah, I guess so. Just having fun. They're like the the, the they, jerk teams in Earth mode that won't end. <laughs> they can't actually do Baron very quickly with this composition. They're pretty low damage overall, so. Yeah, they because they really need a Baron buff. Yeah, you're right, they do. <laughs> well, they would have if they had just built Banner of Command. Well, it actually was the best item for that situation. I'm not joking. It really is really good against Samsung's comp. And even though Sichuani would have suffered a bit without the HP, go. I think she could stomach the blow at this point. Sneaky Baron. Press KT. Look out, Tom. You're getting a bit low. Uh, Bang is trying to tank Baron. That's not going very well. Here comes Wolf. Oh, this is uh, interesting. Okay, there we go. We got the Baron. Got that going for Oh, he now. got. Okay, whatever. What does Nar throw? What is that? It's not a. Is it his own filth? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like a smaller <laughs> boomerang, I guess. Actually, it's hard to tell, isn't it? I like how that's the first thing that came into your mind. <laughs> Although it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, well, I mean, primitive humanoids have been known to engage in such things. <laughs> We've seen that. Yeah. Been to, been to a zoo. Probably seen it. Yeah. All right, well, should be a pretty straightforward split push at this point. Bang yep. is just going to attack the turret by himself while the rest of his team goes to save topside. Well, he's got Baron Power minions too, so he's not really alone. The hand of Baron is with him. Or Samsung. Yeah, well, it's kind of what we expected, but again, you know, they can take Sauce if they've survived longer than Najin. To be fair, this composition for SK T is a lot less all in than the. They had a little bit of tank scaling to do here than yeah. what we saw from the GE Tigers who could just run at you with Sivir. Hey, frozen mallet done for Mar, and I, I know. just noticed that. Yep. Oh, there's an ult on to Kube. Kube has to flash back in. Oh, meanwhile. Easy and just kills uh, yep, one they, of the top turrets. They have Lich Bane right now. They have Lich Bane and Sheen. They can take these oh, turrets yeah. super easily. Oh, Eve. Eve, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, Kicking Mar in a way. That nice was an hop. interesting. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Interesting chain of events. There's a kill for Bang. And they're going to get at least one or two inhibitors out of this. Or all of them. Or all of them. Or they might just end the game. We'll see. SK Telecom looking to close things out right now in the final seconds of their Baron buff, Tom. Looking threatening, well, not that threatening on that skin, but threatening in the game anyway. Uh, easy, but man. So I'm sad we never got a replay to see Eve get killed with uh, Luton's Echo Me Croc. too. It's okay. Emo play. Whoa. Whoa. Oh! Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice ult from top. <laughs> a great vlog chase. You predicted man. the flash. <laughs> yeah. Tom is pretty good. 
Yeah, he's pretty good at League of Legends, turns out. Yeah. yeah. Even at the pro level, not just in solo queue. Well, remember, I am in Samsung. Yeah, okay, okay. It's true. He, oh, he's you and ults himself. It's getting, getting dangerous now. Wolf flashes in with his ult for style points, and there it is at 29 minutes. GG from SKT. They will take game one. Ah, well, we'll see if Samsung can rally. Probably not. Nope, don't think so. Sorry, Samsung. SK Telecom. Wow, that that <laughs> prediction on Vlad. So what happened there was Bang was ulting, and he knew that Vlad had flash up. And so he basically just covered Vlad's possible exit. That yeah. was a really good play from Tom. That was a great ult. Well, Tom continues to be very impressive, even though, like you said, it's Samsung, it's IM. But there's decisions being made that could be made against other teams as well, too. You know, I mean, the fact that that was Samsung doesn't really change that Tom was in the right place at the right time through a lot of the games, controlled vision well, made plays like that at the end. Yeah, mechanically strong, clearly, yep. and uh, showing up in some of these team fights. So uh, let's see how he does. I'm, I'm really excited to see him if they start playing him in 